kichwa cha ujumbe wangu katika rancha wa ya siku ya leo is uh, how do you win your battles how do you win your battles it's the same message how do you win your battles na ningependa kusema ya kwamba ni vibaya sana kwa wewe muaminio katika maisha yako uwe bado mpaka saa hizi especially wale wameokoka kwa muda mrefu you have not mastered the way you win your battles wanajeshi wakienda vita hata wakati mataifa mawili yanapigana lile taifa ambalo litashinda yale mataifa mengine huwa yanauliza walitumia ndege za aina gani walikuwa na mabomu ya aina gani ni silaha gani walizotumia na unakuta hata mataifa mengine na majeshi yao yanaanza kuagiza zile silaha zilisaidia hiyo taifa kushinda vita kwa hivyo nikumaanisha ya kwamba na wewe kama muaminio kwa sababu tuko katika vita the world is not a playground it is a battleground for you to succeed for you to reach your destiny there is a battle to be fought but how do you win your battle kuna watu ambao vita vyao vile wameshindana ni bahati yani ni mambo tu yalifanyika akajipata ameinuliwa amebarikiwa amesimama lakini hawezi kukuambia ni nini nilifanya let me tell you i am not that way i know how i win my battles mimi sio kubahatisha ninajua vile ambavyo huwa ninashinda vita vyangu na ni vizuri kuwa na uhakika ya kwamba niko na njia niko na strategies ambazo Mungu amenipatia na unajua katika vita huendi na silaha moja ukiena na, na risasi moja peke yake unaweza kushindwa lazima uwe na silaha tofauti so ni kumaanisha ya kwamba wewe kushinda vita lazima ujue how do i win my battles na ukijua vile huwa unashinda vita it will be easy to win again and again and again and again because Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever na ndiposa tumekuwa tukisema ya kwamba kukomaa kwa Mkristo kunategemea mambo mawili jambo la kwanza vile ye mwenyewe amekubali Mungu akambadilisha kuna watu wamekaa katika uokovu sana wengine hata ni watumishi wa Mungu wakubwa lakini hawajawahi kubadilishwa ule utu wa kale haujawahi kuondoka katika maisha yao it's very unfortunate when you rise in god and you are not transformed number two, jambo ambalo inadetermine kukomaa kwako ni uwezo wako wa kuelewa the principles the mysteries of the kingdom ya kwamba mimi katika ufalme ninajua ni nini inafanya kazi ni, ni jinsi gani naweza kusimama ni nini naweza kufanya nikapata ushindi so ningependa tujibu hili swali how do you win your battles na ningependa tuangalie uh, watumishi kadhaa walioweza kushinda vita kwa njia tofauti na pengine hii bibi inasema ya kwamba the entrance to your word bring the light wengine pengine hizi ni njia umekuwa ukizitumia lakini bado haujajua ya kwamba ni njia moja Mungu amekupatia ya kushinda vita na kama vile nimesema mimi niko na njia kadhaa ambazo ninajua hizi njia ni za kunisaidia kushinda vita and it's very very important wewe mwenyewe kujua ni njia gani ambazo wewe hutumia kushinda vita ukisoma katika kitabu cha Esther chapter 4 and verse 16 Esther alijua njia yake ya kushinda vita ni kuomba na kufunga The Bible says go that is Esther now go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me do not eat or drink for three days night or day 
I and my maids will fast as you do. When this is done, I'll go to the king, even though it is against the law. If I perish, I perish. Praise the name of the living God. Esther and Asema, go. Gather all the Jews who are in Susa. Tell them to fast for me. And me and my maids here in the Paris, we are also going to fast for three days. Esther alichua kwamba, the way to win the battle that is ahead of me is through prayer and fasting. And this was a great battle because it was a battle to deliver a nation. The Jews were supposed to be annihilated. They were supposed to be destroyed by their enemies. And they had conspired through Haman. Now, walikuwa katika hatari kubwa. Lakini Esther akajua, this is how I win my battles. If I get into a time of prayer and fasting, I win this battle. Unfortunately, there are people who pray and fast religiously. But they don't know prayer and fasting is a lethal weapon to win their battles. Hawajui kuomba na kufunga. Ni siraha kali ya kushinda wakati wa vita. Wengine wanafunga, aposto walisema tufunge, kanisani kwetu kuna maombi, unajua ni mwanzo wa mwaka, unajua kuna prayer festival, kuna watu wamefunga kwa hizi prayer festival. Ha? Wengine ulifuata tu pengine. Lakini nje, ulijua ya kwamba kuomba na kufunga ni siraha ambayo inaweza kukupatia ushindi. Nimeona mara nyingi sana katika maisha yangu. Mungu akinipa ushindi kupitia kuomba na kufunga. Na kwa hivyo ninapoomba na kufunga, sifanyi hivyo kwa njia ya kidini. Ninafanya because I know this is how I win my battles. And I have won so many battles on my knees in prayer and in fasting. And I thank God for this far that he has brought me. Somebody else we can look in the Bible ambaye tunaweza kumuangalia Tunaweza kuangalia David. If you, read, uh, if you read the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 6 from verse 14. We are going to look at a few people because of time, 2 Samuel, chapter 6 and verse 14. If we are going to move a little bit faster, it will help me to cover more. David, wearing a linen effort, danced before the Lord with all his might. You should not miss that verse 14. Look at verse 14. The Bible says, David wearing a ring and effort, he danced before the Lord with all his might. Mm -hmm. While he and the entire house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shout and the sound of trumpets. As the ark of the Lord was entering the city of David. Micho, the daughter of Saul, watched from a widow. And when she saw King David leaping, dancing before the Lord, she despised him in her heart. They brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for later. And David sacrificed burnt offerings, fellowship offerings before the Lord. After he had finished sacrificing burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisin to each person in the whole crowd of Israelites. Both men and women, all the people, went to their homes. When David returned home to bless his household, Micho, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet him and said, How the king of Israel has distinguished himself today, disrobing in the sight of the slave girls of his servants, as any varga pharaoh would. Ah. David said to Micho, it was not before the Lord, it was before the Lord who chose me rather than your father or anyone from his house when he appointed me Lura over the Lord's people. I will celebrate before the Lord. I, I will become even more undignified than this. 
I'll be humiliated in my own eyes. But by these slave girls you spoke, I'll be held in honor. Hapa tunaangalia kwamba David alijua. In fact, David was able, not in this instance, but in so many instances, David would dance himself through to his breakthrough. He would dance until he was able to receive the victory that he desired. And so this time, he was dancing before the Lord with all his might. Because he knew, this is how I win my battles. Unajua kuna watu wengine ikifika ni wakati wa kumsifu Mungu, wakati wa kumwabudu Mungu. Wanasema sasa situngeingia kwa maombi. In fact hata ukiangalia many times huwa anaangalia intercessors wengi tukiabudu sana ama tukisifu huwa anataka kuingia kwa maombi. Kwa sababu wao wanaamini the way I win my battles ni kuomba. But let me tell you dancing is also a way to win your battles. Ask David Praise the name of the living God. Lakini pia micho hakujua. In fact alipomwangalia kutoka kwa dirisha. Ya, unajua watu wale ambao wamelelewa kwa utajiri kama micho kwa sababu walikuwa mtoto wa Saul ambao hawajawahi kupata shida. Hawajui kutegemea Mungu awapatie ushindi. So I despise Daud. Let me tell you. Kuna watu wata despise njia zile ambazo Mungu amekupatia za kupata ushindi. And that is why sometimes you cannot share with everybody. Bi inasema ya kwamba usimwage ruru penye gurue. Watakanyanga ruru alafu wakukanyange. Mungu anaweza kukupatia siraha na njia ya dhamana ya kushinda vita. Maybe ile njia Mungu amekupatia wewe ya kushinda vita ni sacrifice. Yaani we ukisikia neno na likuguze na usikia hili neno rangu na Mungu anataka kunipatia ushindi hapa unachukua kile uko nacho cha dhamana pengine ni iPad umenunua ama ulipewa kama zawadi kubwa unaichukua unaileta kwa madhabahu marafiki zako anakuuliza gai umepatia na hiyo iPad ha? na vile ni ya pesa mingi na vile ilikuwa nzuri na vile huwezi kujinunulia kama hiyo there are people who are going to despise kuna watu watadharau watadunisha ile njia Mungu amekupatia ya kupata ushindi lakini David hakutorareti micho alimwambia wewe mimi sikuwa ninaimba bere ya baba yako nilikuwa namwimbia Mungu ambaye alinifanya mfalme wa Israeli praise the name of the living God na akasema I'll be more dignified and humiliated Yaani alisema mimi nitajiaibisha. Yaani David ni watu wale ambao anaweza rara bere za Bwana mpaka aror. Yaani anakuwa humiliated, anakuwa undignified. Anamwambia Bwana mimi sio kitu. Ni wewe umenifanya vile nilivyo. Lakini najua hiyo ndio njia ambayo ninaponyenyekea chini ya mkono wenye nguvu wa Bwana anainua, ananiinua, ananipatia ushindi. Praise the name of the living God. How do you win your battles? Sometimes the strategies that God will give you to win your battles. There are people who may look at them and they may they they may despise the strategies that God has given you to win your battles. But it's very very important for you to know. Ni vizuri wewe mwenyewe kujua ni njia gani ambayo Mungu amekupatia. David alijua. Micho alikuwa anamwambia you are disrobing yourself. Unajua mavazi ya zamani ya wanaume ilikuwa kama uh, ile skirt ambayo ina inafungwa ambayo ukiimba sana inaenda ikitokana pengine ilikuwa inatokana mapaja yake yanaonekana lakini David hakuwa na jari hakuwa na jari ya kwamba yeye ni mfalme you know some of us tukifika viwango fulani vya maisha we are more careful of our position than offering a sacrifice before the lord yani kitambo umuimbie bwana kitambo umwabudu bwana Unakwanza fikiria mimi ni nani? David alikuwa akienda mbele za Bwana, anasahau. Paka Micho anajaribu kumkumbusha, lakini anamwambia hivyo ndivyo nilivyo. Sio ati ya kwamba nilisahau, hata nitakuwa more humiliated. Nitaendelea kuwa chini kabisa inapofika 
ni kumwabudu Bwana na tunajua baadaye micho akafanyika kuwa tasa hakuzaa mtoto kwa sababu gani Ali, you know Daudi alikuwa anaenda sasa amebariki kila mtu saa hiyo anaenda kubariki nyumba yake anapoenda kubariki nyumba yake micho anakutana na ye akimkemea kwa sababu ya dhabihu ambayo ametoa bere za Bwana wapendwa tunawezaona watu hata katika jamii zetu waume zetu wake zetu ndugu zetu na dada zetu ambao kile wanafanya ni cha kuleta ukombozi lakini tuna dhihaki unakuta mtu mmoja katika jamii Mungu anampatia tu neema ya kufunga kuamka mapema kulilia Mungu wengine wana dhihaki hii maombi yako hii kufunga yako hiyo kudhihaki inaleta utasa biashara zingeinuka zinakosa kuinuka kazi zingepatikana milango ifunguke inakataa kufunguka kwa sababu ile silaha Mungu alikuwa amepatiana hata katika jamii badala ya kuisherehekea badala ya micho asherehekee amkaribishe Daudi Daudi abariki nyumba yake akamudhihaki na amekuwa baraka kwa wale wengine lakini akakosa kubariki nyumba yake kwa sababu micho alidhihaki that is why sometimes uh, unaweza kuwa baraka kwa watu wengine lakini kwa watu wanaokujua kwa watu wa nyumba yako Yesu akasema ni kwao tu nyumbani na kwa watu wao ambapo nabii huwa hatambulikani ni vizuri kutambua watu ambao wanabeba neema fulani na wanaweza kutusaidia kushindana vita kwa sababu kuna neema Mungu amewapatia kwa sababu na wao kuna siri wamejua ya kuweza kushindana vita katika maisha yao don't allow anybody to despise huh? the strategy that god has given you to win your battles i will not allow anybody to despise to look down on the strategies that god has given me to win my battles they may not have the same revelation that i have wanaweza kosa kuwa na ufunuo ambao bwana amenipatia lakini kama you know you cannot rise above the revelation that you have na kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza kupatia ufunuo ya kwamba utakapotumia njia hii hautawahi kupoteza vita I remember and I have shared in my life ya kwamba Mungu niliamka asubuhi kuomba na tulikuwa na changamoto nyingi sana katika jamii ilikuwa hatujalipa nyumba miezi tatu hatuna radio hatuna TV Mungu akanizungumzia akaniambia nataka uingie kuhubiri kwa media Nikaambia Mungu na vile tuko na madeni hata nyumba hatujalipa mi mwenyewe hata sina radio kwa nyumba Mungu akaniambia niko na pesa ya kufanya kazi yangu na ukiwa mwaminifu na hiyo pesa nitakuaminia Today I know how to win my battles by becoming a good steward Mimi huwa najua pesa inapokuja mikononi mwako mwangu na inafanya kazi njema itakayomfurahisha Bwana Mungu ataendelea kuniaminia na wale watatoa they will never regret watapokea baraka watapokea neema ya Bwana that is how i win my battles by becoming a faithful steward kuna mtu mwingine ataniambia hii pesa kama mimi ningepatiwa ha eh? ningeitumia na maisha yangu na nitumie kidogo na kazi ya Mungu but i know how i win my battles i will not allow somebody to look down on me when we build this church kuna watu wangeniambia wewe kwanza unajenga kanisa kubwa na hauna hata nyumba yako lakini i knew how to win my battles I knew I had a covenant with God ya kwamba Mungu nitakujengea kwanza na ninajua baadaye utanibariki and that is how I win my battles Do you know how you win your battles ama ni kubahatisha tu ama wewe ni maushuhuda tu unasikia watu wengine wakitoa lakini wewe hauna njia katika maisha yako ya kujipatia ushindi Today may God help you to know how you win your battles In the book of Judges chapter 16 and verse uh, uh, if we just uh, take uh, um, one verse verse 20 uh, we read about Samson and the bible says uh, that uh, then she called Samson then she called Samson the Philistines are upon you he awoke from his sleep and thought i'll go out as before and shake myself free but he did not know that the lord had left him hapa tunasoma juu ya Samson ya kwamba aliamuka alipoitwa na Delaida ya kwamba Wafilisti wanakuja anaenda kupigana na wao lakini Samson hakuwa anajua Mungu amemwacha hakuwa anajua amepoteza nguvu zake 
kwa sababu Samson kana kwamba hakuelewa how he won his battles hakuwa anajua as wrong as amekubali anyorewe nywere ataibika hata pata ushindi kuna watu ambao Mungu huwapatia ushindi lakini hawajui siri ya ushindi wao hawajui huu ushindi wanaupata kwa sababu wanasimama katika utakatifu hawajui siku ile wametenda dhambi watashindwa wataibika lakini kwa sababu hawakuwa wanajua wanashinda vita vyao namna gani wanajiingiza kwa mambo wanavunja agano unakuta mtu Mungu anamuinua katika biashara hajui ya kwamba uaminifu wake katika fungu la kumi. ndio unafanya Mungu ampiganie na amfungulie mlango wa baraka anafika mahali anaanza kuzoea na anaona ni kawaida hata anasema naona kanisani hakuna shida mingi kwa nini niendelee kutoa sinijijenge kwanza sinifanye mambo yangu kidogo hakuwa anajua this is how i win my battles when i am faithful in my tithing inanisaidia kushinda vita vyangu lakini unafika mahali unasema ah hii ni kawaida hii ni mazoea Samson alifika akaona ni mazoea tu kushinda vita kwangu ni kawaida aliona cha mtema kuoni alishikwa na wafilisti akangolewa macho wakamfanyisha mambo ya aibu kwenda kuwasiagia ngano na kuwatumbuiza wakati wa sherehe zao mtu ambaye alikuwa shujaa mtu ambaye hakuwa anapoteza vita lakini hakujielewa kwa nini Mungu anampatia ushindi katika vita vyake ole wako wakati unaendelea kuwa na ushindi wakati unaendelea kuinuka from one glory to the other wakati una enjoy the favor of god but you don't know why you are winning your battles that means hata siku ile utaanza kushindwa hautajua kwa nini umepoteza ushindi wako si Mungu atusaidie tukatae kuishi katika historia au oh, unajua kuna wakati Mungu alinikuwa ananitumia hivi kuna wakati Mungu alikuwa ananibariki hivi lakini siku ya leo sijui ilifanyika nini haukujua kwa nini bona haukugundua ha? ni siri gani ambayo inakusaidia kushinda vita vyako may god help you to discover how you win your battles i know and i know that when i live a holy life sio tu kuomba sana sio tu kufunga sana lazima nipigane vita vya utakatifu kwa sababu najua ya kwamba ninapoishi maisha matakatifu that is how i win my battles na ninajua kwamba if the man enemy manages to defile my life basi ata manage kuniaibisha kama vile alivyomwaibisha Samson akamngolewa macho akashikwa na wafilisti akaenda kusiaga ngano yao lazima ujue how do i win my battles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as uh, we continue we can also lead uh, um, let me see how many more we can take if you read the, 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 the book of acts chapter 12 and verse 5 This is a portion of scripture that concerns the first church. The first church, kanisa la kwanza lilikuwa linajua we win our battles through the power of prayer. So Peter was kept in prison. But the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Mm -hmm. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial. Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. So the key verse there is verse 5. The key verse is verse 5 that uh, so Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Kanisa la kwanza Lilikuwa linajua kumuomba Mungu kwa bidii when there was persecution they would come together they knew the power of corporate prayer and they would come together and pray to God earnestly na tunaona ya kwamba Mungu angewachilia hata malaika wake 
Wakati unasikia tunatangaza maombi tunasema tuko na kipindi cha kuomba kama vile tumekuwa na prayer festivals It is because some of us sio kwamba siwezi kuenda tu niombe na nikuje niwahubirie lakini kwa sababu some of us we know the power of corporate prayer one can chase a thousand but two can chase 10000 huh? the bible says where there is unity god commands a blessing there are things that need to be commanded by god himself na kwa hivyo mambo yale yanapatikana mahali watu wako katika umoja na kwa hivyo kanisa la kwanza lilijua the power of corporate prayer how do you win your battles do you know the power of corporate prayer when people come together in agreement as a family as a church as a city as a nation i remember when god gave me the vision of mbci and there's something i've shared in many places because we had a prayer season of three months and the first day in the morning glory mungu akaniambia nataka uache kufungua makanisa anza huduma ambayo itakuwa baraka kwa mwili wa kristo na hiyo miezi tatu nikawa ninaombea hiyo huduma ambayo siku ya leo ni mbci nikauliza mungu maswali mengi mungu akaniambia ukikaa kwa hii kanisa ni kama kitchen garden because the body is a field the world is a field if you are willing to go out there lakini ukikaa hapa hii ni kitchen garden na Mungu akaniambia mimi ni kama mfanyi biashara ama an entrepreneur ukikaa kwa kitchen garden nitakupatia srasha nitakupatia jembe na vitu zile zingine ambazo zinatoshana na kitchen garden hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza enda kwa bank aombe loan ya tractor kwa sababu wako na shamba ya proti moja ya 50 by 100 Naye Mungu akaniambia ukikaa hapa kwa kitchen garden kuna vitu siwezi kukupatia lakini ukikubali kwenda kwa mwili wa Kristo kwenda kwa mataifa kwenda kuhubiri kule nje nitakupatia neema kubwa nitakupatia pesa nyingi nitakuaminia mambo yale yatakayokuwezesha usiku mmoja Mungu akanionyesha ndoto ya pata ambayo nitakuwa ninatumia nikaona katika hii ndoto tulikuwa tuna magari yanapita barabara moja Na hii barabara moja gari ya kwanza ikapata kizuizi kikubwa. Driver akatoka akaangalia akasema siwezi ondoa unajua ina dream you understand even language that is not verbal. So walisema siwezi kuondoa hii peke yangu akarudi kwa gari. Gari nyingine ikakuja ikasimama akatoka akasema siwezi kuondoa hii peke yangu. Magari yakaanza kupark. Nami nikaulizwa kwa nini hawawezi kutoka wote? Waondoe kile kizuizi warudi kwa magari yao waendelee na safari na hapo ndio nikaambiwa that is why my church cannot take cities and nations for Jesus kwa sababu kila mmoja akipata kizuizi akipata ngome anarudi kwa kanisa yake anasema wacha ni maintain wacha nikae hapa badala ya waitane wote waseme tuje pamoja tuondoe kizuizi Turudi kwa makanisa yetu, kwa huduma zetu, kwa maisha yetu, tuendele na safari. Tutakuwa na ushindi katika biashara, katika mwito kwa sababu tumeondoa kizuizi. Na Mungu akaniambia kila mahali utakapoenda hata nikikuinua, usijaribu kufanya mkutano peke yako. Enda Honor the elders of the city, the gatekeepers. Ongea na wao. Waambie mkaweze kufanya mkutano pamoja kuomba na kusimama katika pengo na kuangusha ngome katika muji ama katika taifa na tumeona mambo makubwa ambayo Mungu ameyafanya how do you win your battles ndio najua siku yale naweza kutangaza mkutano kwa tv na niende mahali popote na nihubiri lakini Mungu aliniambia for you to win battles there is a place of corporate anointing there is a place of corporate prayer and so when i go and humble ninapoenda na kunyenyekea Na ninaita watumishi wengine tuwe pamoja sio kwa sababu mimi ni mdhaifu sio kwa sababu siwezi fanya ule mkutano but i know how to win my battles and to win battles for the lord is through corporate prayer corporate anointing na wewe don't be your own ledger in your life ha? unasema mimi huwa tunaomba peke yangu mimi sio bangi na watu hata kwa family mimi hii family nataka kuiombea peke yangu there is a place of corporate prayer. Kama Mungu amekupatia mzigo wa hiyo jamii, 
ndio iombe peke yako lakini kuna mahali pa kutafuta like minded people pole pole mnakuja pamoja mnaomba pole pole mnakuja pamoja mnaomba na wakati moja mnakuwa na gathering hata wale ambao hawaamini mnaomba pamoja na kuna ngome kuna vizuizi vitaondoka katika hiyo jamii so how do you win your battles do you have a strategy on how to win your battles may god have mercy upon us in the mighty name of jesus sina wakati wa kuongea juu ya watu kama the shuna might woman wakati alipomwangalia mtumishi wa Mungu alisema he is a holy man of god na akamwambia bwana yake tuweze kumjengea hapa nyumba tumwekee kitanda na hapo ndiyo aliweza kupata mtoto how do you win your battles there are people who know how to connect with grace ambayo iko juu ya watumishi wa Mungu kuna watu huwa Mungu amewapatia njia moja ya kushindana vita vyao ni kusupport watu wale ambao Mungu amewaita the people who labor in the kingdom and when they connect with them it is a way also of them to win their battles kumbuka huyu mama alikuwa tu tajiri na mama mwenye heshima the, for the bible says she was a well to do woman lakini hakuwa na mtoto unaweza kuwa uko na ushindi maeneo fulani katika maisha yako sikatai lakini kuna maeneo unataka ushindi how do you win your battles hata katika hayo maeneo ambayo haujaweza kupata ushindi lazima uwe na kifunguo lazima uwe na siri ya kujua hii eneo even if i'm a well to do woman our family is a well to do family tumebarikiwa kwa njia tofauti lakini kuna mahali tunahitaji neema ya tofauti itusaidie ndoa zetu zisimame haya magonjwa yaache kutufuata hizi shida za aina hii zifike mwisho how do you win your battles the other widow the widow of the, uh, uh, um, uh, zarefath huyu mjane wakati elijah alitumwa kwake hakuwa na unga hakuwa na mafuta lakini alitii sauti ya bwana wakati alipokubali kumpatia elijah mkate wa kwanza kibaba chake akikukauka that is how she won her battles hakukosa chakula ye na mwanawe in fact bibi nasema hata alileta jamii yake yote pamoja wakati wa njaa akawalisha how did she win her battles alitumia kile kidogo kwa sababu kuna Mungu Jehovah Rafa Mungu ambaye anatuponya unaweza funga na ukamwamini na ukapokea uponyaji lakini pia kuna Mungu ambaye ni Jehovah Jaire ni yule ule tu Mungu lakini ukitaka Jehovah Jaire unamtafuta kwa njia tofauti haumtafuti tu kwa maombi haumtafuti tu mikono mitupu That is why sometimes tunasema waombezi wanaomba sana. Lakini wanabaki kukosa mali na utajiri katika maisha yao. Kwa sababu there is a way you win your battles in one area of life. But that strategy cannot help you to win your battle in another area of your life. Ukimuuliza Abraham baba yetu wa imani atakwambia ya kwamba Mungu alimpatia ahadi ya kwamba atambariki na mataifa yatabarikiwa kupitia kwake lakini ndiyo hiyo ahadi ikaweze kutimia Mungu alikuja akamuitisha mtoto wake ambaye ni Isaac na wakati alipotii Mungu akasema ameapa na akamwambia hakika kukubariki nitakubariki unataka kumuona Jehovah Jaire katika maisha yako unataka Mungu awe your provider lazima uwe na kifunguo Nikwambia kwamba kuna wakati nilikuwa na, nafikiria sifai kujitolea kwa sababu ile pesa niko naye ni kidogo. Ha? Naenda mahali napewa mia mbili Hata natembea mguu niende kanisani ile mia mbili sitaki kuivunja. Kwa sababu ni pesa mingi na sijui nitapata wapi ingine. Na ninajua kama sijaivunja hata Mungu anajua ni mia mbili peke yake iko. So hata ofa nikikosa kutoa anaelewa lakini mfuko ya sadaka ikija ninaambiwa toa hiyo mia mbili. Hey! 
na kwa sababu mimi najua sauti ya Mungu ninajua anaongea sasa na shida Mungu si unajua sina pesa ingine paka ninatoa tu lakini nasema kwani Mungu hauna huruma natoa hii mbili na uchungu lakini Mungu alikuwa anajua ya kwamba kama nataka ni muone kama Jehovah Jireh the Lord my provider lazima nijue how to win that battle in that area of finances because you can win battles in one area but there are other areas of your life you keep on losing the battle kwa sababu you don't know how to win your battles in that area how do you win your battles may god have mercy upon us in the mighty name of jesus let me finish by reading the book of second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 21 second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 21 after consulting the people Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as he went out at the head of the army saying give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever as they began to sing and praise the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated ukiuliza Jehoshaphat how to win severe battles threatening battles Jehoshaphat amezungukwa sio taifa moja sio mataifa mawili yamemzunguka and the bible says uh, Jehoshaphat was alarmed akaingia kwa prayer and fasting Prayer and fasting haikufanya kazi wakati alikuwa anasumbuka Mungu akainua nabii akamwambia Jehoshaphat hii vita hautafunga kwa maombi na kufunga hii vita strategy ambayo itakusaidia kushinda hii vita ni kutafuta waimbaji waweze kumsifu Bwana na waseme mshukuruni Bwana kwa sababu fadhili zake hey ni za milele praise the name of the living god hallelujah kuna watu wana despise praise lakini jehoshaphat alikuwa amefunga lakini hata baada ya kufunga mungu akamwambia it's not enough that is not the strategy that i am going to use this is a huge battle and this battle can only be surrendered to me and the only way you can surrender this battle to me is by praising me because i am enthroned in the praises of my people and when you praise me i will arise on your behalf and the bible says when they started praising the lord he set ambushes the lord himself ambushed their enemies and they received the desired victory praise the name of the living god how do you win your battles if you ask jehoshaphat he will tell you that praise is a great weapon to win severe battles nikwa naongea jana na rafiki yangu mmoja anaitwa pastor charo akoko kule swaziland na nafikiria ameshai kuhubiri hapa na kutuambia vile walikuwa na changa moto na upinzani na uchawi wa hali ya juu wa kupinga kazi ya Mungu pale na vile waliingia katika sifa ya masaa mengi ya kumuimbia Bwana mpaka Mungu akaingilia kati kukawa na physical manifestation hata zile mbwa zilikuwa zinakuja pale zikafa physically as a sign of deliverance and victory na ha- haikufanyika hivyo kwa sababu ya kukemea na kufunga na kulimakata na kulimazelia waliweza kumsifu Bwana peke yake na kwa kumsifu Bwana wakaona ushindi how do you win your battles najua wengine hawana siri ya sifa lakini pokea siri ya sifa kama silaha ya kushindana vita katika jina la Yesu Kristo usiwe na silaha moja ya kushindana vita praise the name of the living god ukiangalia hata askari wanapoenda vita ile buduki yao huwa na kisu hapa mbele so wewe unaweza kuwa na buduki ni ya maana because inarusha risasi lakini katika vita wanajua kile kisu kinakaa pale mbele ya buduki kinaweza kuokoa maisha yako kwa sababu kuna vita ambayo 
haitahitaji risasi itahitaji kile kisu ambacho kiko pale mbele ya buduki don't despise in a weapon that god has given unto us to win our battles wengine wangetaka kuamini tu ni kuomba ni kufunga ndio kuomba na kufunga mimi naiamini sana but i am i am a person who believes in the power of praising god and thanking god in fact wimbo ule ambao mungu alipatiana wataimba ni ya kwamba mshukuruni bwana kwa sababu fadhili zake ni za milele ukiniuliza nimeshai kuwashuhudia siku moja tulienda maho, ma, mahali maombi kuomba siku saba na siku ya saba tulikuwa tunamalizia jioni tunapumzika tu tumelala mahali tu we were a small team na unajua siku ya saba ni siku ya kufikiria kesho nitafungua namna gani fasting nitaweka kwanza machungwa matunda baadaye ni kule pancake baadaye ni kunywa uji yani saa hiyo ndio unafikiria kesho vile utakavyofungua lakini wakati tulikuwa tunapumzika pale nikanisikia inspiration ndani yangu ya kwamba nianze kumshukuru Mungu na nikaanza kumshukuru Mungu nikaanza kutoka wakati nilikuwa mtoto nikamwambia Bwana asante kwa ile jamii niliyozaliwa unajua unaweza kuraumu jamii ile ulizaliwa ya yeah? kuna watu wakiambiwa waitanishwe na jamii zingine kubwa wanaweza hama kwao usihame kwenu Mungu ndiye alipanga utazaliwa wapi na wakati gani kuna kusudi la Mungu la kuzaliwa kule ulizaliwa na ukianza kumshukuru utaona ni kwa nini ulizaliwa kule ulizaliwa praise the name of the living god hata usitamani kuwa mweupe praise the name of the living god kuna kusudi ulizaliwa hapa Afrika wazungu wengine wanatamani kuwa weusi waache kushomwa na jua so waacha kujidharau praise the name of the living god haleluya you are fear free and wonderfully made So nikaanza kumshukuru Mungu toka wakati nilizaliwa mambo yale nilipitia nikiwa mtoto changa moto tulipitia katika jamii nikamwambia Bwana asante kwa mambo it was not me it was the holy spirit who was putting the words in my mouth because the bible says we don't know what we ought to pray for but the holy spirit is able to intercede with the groans nikaongea masaa kadhaa wakati nimaliza kumshukuru Mungu vile nikuja nikaokoka vile alivyoniita vile alivyonipeleka katika mlima wake kumtafuta nilisikia ni kama bingu zimefunguka nguvu nyingi zikashuka juu yangu mwili wangu kazungushwa literally paka wale walikuwa karibu wakastuka nini imefanyika mimi sijawahi kusikia nguvu kama hizo na kwa hivyo ukiona siku ya leo kila wakati nataka tumshukuru Mungu it is because i know that thanksgiving is a way of winning your battles kuna wakati Mungu aliambia Israeli uh, katika uh, 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 Zaburi hamsini ya kwamba wachaneni na sadaka zingine zote munitolee sadaka munitolee sadaka ya kunishukuru Excuse me ningependa kumalizia pale na niseme ya kwamba kuna njia ambazo Mungu ametupatia za kushinda vita kushindana vita na hizi njia We should not be ignorant. Mungu anataka tuweze kuzielewa. Nataka tukawe na kipindi kifupi ambacho tutaweza kuongozwa kumwabudu Bwana. Tuko na mtumishi wa Mungu uh, Pastor Israel, wacha tupate kionjo cha yale atakayokuwa yanaendelea usiku wa leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na ninajua hakika Mungu atatubariki. Ninaomba neema ya Bwana iwe juu yenu. Ninaomba Bwana awapatie ufunuo jinsi ya kushinda vita vyenu. Mwambie Bwana nakataa roho ya udini, nakataa roho ya kufanya mambo kama kawaida. Nikitoa fungu langu, ninajua ni njia ya kushindana vita. Nikikonekta na watu walio na neema iliyo juu yangu, najua ni njia moja ya kushindana vita. Nikikuja bere zako kwa kufunga, ninajua ni njia moja ya kupigana vita. Nikitembea katika utakatifu, ninajua hiyo ni njia moja ya kupigana vita vyangu. Nikiwa mwaminifu na mali umeweka mikononi mwangu ninajua kwamba hiyo ni njia moja ya kupigana vita ninapokusifu ninajua hiyo ni njia moja ya kupigana vita vyangu roho ya dini ni mbaya huwa inafanya tuzoe njia zile Mungu ametupatia za kupigana vita i rebuke every religious spirit in the mighty name of jesus and i declare you don't have any portion in my life In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not do anything as a ritual. 
but I'm going to do it with a liberation uh, that I may be able to receive the grace they are offered in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and I, uh, so that I can be able to connect with my miracle. How do you win your battles? Uh? Kuna watu mungu wamewapatia jia za kushindana vita lakini ya mujazidamini lakini mumeona kama ni kawaida lakini hata ile njia uliitumia mara moja baadaye ukasahau na ungeendelea kujipatia ushindi mara nyingi kwa utukufu wa Bwana si siku ya leo Mungu akusaidie how do you win your battles wengine walikuwa waaminifu katika zaka zao wakaona hata hii fungura kumi kutoa ni kama kawaida na wakaacha sasa wameanza kuteremka mambo yameharibika kwa sababu you don't know how to win your battles wengine waliingia kwa dhambi magonjwa yakaingia shida zikaingia hawakujua walipotenda dhambi walipomoa ukuta wa ulinzi katika maisha yao na adui akapata kuataka katika maisha yao lazima ujue mpendwa how to win your battles uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, you don't live a holy life uh, for the sake of living a holy life uh, it is a weapon uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, when you live a righteous life uh, when you live a holy life uh, it is a weapon uh, because the bible says uh, the scepter of the kingdom uh, is a scepter of righteousness utatembea na mamlaka utatembea na nguvu wakati unapotembea katika utakatifu ukisema jambo Mungu ataheshimu neno lako kwa sababu maneno ya kinywa chako yametakasika oh my god how do you win your battles today tonight is a night of worship is a night of thanksgiving wengine wanaweza angalia na waseme hii haina haja sana Unajua tulikuwa na prayer festival tumeomba tumefunga sasa hii ni kama tu uh, 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 mambo tu ya kawaida lakini ukiuliza Jehoshaphat atakwambia hii sio mambo ya kawaida ukiuliza Daudi atakwambia sasa ndio umejua kifungua halisi cha kupata ushindi ni kumuimbia Bwana kwa nguvu zako zote utakapofanya hivyo hakuna kiwango Mungu atakufikisha kilele cha hatima yako how do you win your battles tell god help me as i reflect in the end of this year help me to reflect on how i win my battles there are people who win their battles by faithful faithfully serving the lord when they faithfully serve the lord they win their battles the lord takes over their battles kwa sababu bibi nasema wakati wanafunzi walitumwa wakaenda Yesu mwenyewe alienda katika miji yao unapoondoka kwa ajili ya Bwana na kufanya kazi yake anaenda kufanya yako anaenda kukupigania anaenda kukutetea lakini wengine wanasema ah mi niko na shughuli nyingi ah mimi niko na kazi nyingi ah mimi hata sina nafasi hajui wakati anapomwendea Bwana naye Bwana mwenyewe anamwendea na kumpigania oh my god si Mungu apatie mtu ufunuo ili hata tunapojiandaa in this decade tunapoingia utakuwa unajua this is how i win my battles kuna watu ushindana vita vyao wanajua nikitaka jambo lolote kubwa nikitaka gari nikitaka nyumba nikitaka prota wanajua god gives seed to the sower kuna wakati Mungu atakupatia pesa yote ya kile ambacho unataka atakupatia seed na ukiachilia the seed ataachilia the harvest na the harvest itakusaidia kupata kile ambacho unachotamani lakini watu wengi hawajui ya kwamba the seed is a weapon for your battle sasa unapatiwa mbegu unakula unasema hii ni kidogo haiwezi fungua biashara hii ni kidogo haiwezi nunua gari hii ni kidogo haiwezi nunua proti kumbe Mungu anakupatia silaha na silaha yako ukiuliza mkulima anaweza kukuambia ni nyime chakula lakini wakati wa kupanda nipatie mbegu kwa sababu if you give me the seed you have equipped me for success in the next season lakini watu wengi hawajui jinsi ya kushindana vita vyao there are times you are going to pray to God to give you something but he is not going to give you the little thing he will give you a seed and when you sow the seed then the, the harvest is, is the one that is going to help you to be able to receive what you desire wapendwa ninaongea mambo haya yote nikusaidie ya kwamba 
ni vizuri kujua how you win your battles wengine ukiuliza the 10 lepers ukiuliza ule mmoja aliyerudi umuulize how do you win your battles atakwambia sidi wakati wote Mungu amefanya kitu enda umwambie ni asante atakwambia that is how i win my battles i win my battles by going back and telling the master thank you for what you have done for me when i tell him thank you i am ready to receive the next miracles because he has decided to do things in stages in my life and every time he has done something hey i go back and tell him thank you and then i prepare for the next miracle how do you win your battles i rebuke every religious spirit again in the mighty name of jesus na ninakataa ya kwamba hatutafanya mambo kidini ninapoomba na kufunga ninajua ni siraha ninapokuwa mwaminifu na fungu na zaka zangu ninajua ni siraha ninapokuja mbele za bwana na shukurani ninajua ni siraha when i give a seed for my miracle ninajua hiyo ni siraha oh my god oh my god help your people in the mighty name of jesus that they may understand how to win their battles nakataa kuwa kama samson ambaye amenyolewa hajui hana nafasi ya kushinda vita lakini bado anaamka kwenda kupigana hajui kwa sababu amenyolewa amevunja agano alilokuwa nalo na Bwana kutoka akiwa mtoto sasa ataibika wengine tunashinda vita kwa sababu tumeweka agano lile ambalo tume, tuliweka na Bwana na hatuwezi kuvunja lile agano kwa sababu nikivunja agano nitahaibika nitaachiriwa lazima niweke agano kwa sababu Mungu wangu ni Mungu wa agano do you have a covenant with your father in the mighty name of Jesus our god is a covenant making god na watu wengine ukiwaona wakitembea na ushindi wanatembea na ushindi kwa sababu ya maagano ambayo wamefanya na Bwana how do you win your battles in the mighty name of Jesus ukiuliza Cornelius atakwambia omba lakini usifikishe tu maombi peke yake saidia masikini saidia mtu ambaye ako na hitaji na utaona vile Mungu atakushindania atatuma hata maraika how do you win your battles are you touched by the needs of the needy people who are around you when you see when you see somebody who is needy it's not that you don't have any problem but when you see someone who has a big challenge and you can be able to help them you help them because if you help them to get where they want to be god is going to lift you to get where you desire to be in the mighty name of jesus because you are sowing a seed to a needy person how do you win your battles can you worship the lord and tell the lord give me a revelation on how to win my battles in this decade help me to value the strategies to win battles that even tonight as we come before thee in worship i will not take it for granted wengine ninajua watakaa kwa tv wakiangalia vile waimbaji wanaimba vizuri wakiangalia nani anaimba vizuri kuliko mwingine oh ore wako heri ungeungana na wao ukiungana na maserufi na makerubi tukiweza kumwabudu pamoja katika jina la Yesu anayestahili sifa anayestahili heshima anayestahili utukufu tukija bere zake kwa shukurani tukimwambia unastahili wewe ni ebeneza wewe ndio umetuleta ubali huu kwa sababu hiyo ni njia moja ya kushindana vita vyetu kama vile Jehoshafata aliweza kushindana vita oh my god inawezekana kama Jehoshafata kuna mambo haikufanyika wakati wa prayer and fasting lakini wakati wa sifa na kumwabudu bwana miujiza ishara matendo ya ukuwa bwana yatafanyika because this is how we win our battles wanaojua kushukuru bibi nasema ni shukuru nawe utniita wakati wa shida nitakutendea ndio uje bere zangu na shukurani tunapoenda bere za Mungu na shukurani chakula chake ni utukufu tunampatia utukufu wote naye tukimuita mwaka unaokuja atazidi kututembelea may god have mercy upon us tujiunge pamoja usiku wa leo mahali popote utakapokuwa katika taifa hili ha katika mataifa yote ya ulimwengu tell a friend 
Oh, to tell a friend uh, that tonight uh, we are winning our battles. Uh, even as we come before the Lord uh, with worship uh, and thanksgiving uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we give you glory and honor for you alone. Uh, you are worthy. You are highly, highly exalted. Uh, Waja tumlete mtumishi wa Bwana Pastor Israel anapo anza kutuongoza katika siraha ya kushindana vita vyetu rika baganda bashanda rika bushanda we give you glory lord as we honor you we give you glory lord as we honor you
glory of the Lord is here. My God, my God, my God. Where were the women? How far? Where were the women? Oh, ya kataraba. Where were the women? How we say? How far?
et toi, Jéhovah. Où lui sema, où t'attenda, là où m'étenda, Dio Padaouna et toi, Jéhovah. You are here. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. Woo. If you're kneeling, go ahead and kneel. <laughs> you are Yahweh. My God. My God. Hey. 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 Shama Yano. My papers come back to us. He can't go to Tabaha. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Nasi 